Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In today's video, we will explore the different sections and menus in the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. It's like taking a tour of the Microsoft Entra Admin Center web interface. The Microsoft Entra Admin Center is a web-based portal for managing Microsoft Entra products such as Microsoft Entra ID. The Microsoft Entra Admin Center is a central platform where users can efficiently manage their cloud resources and services in the Microsoft Entra cloud. The first question is how we can access the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. To access the Microsoft Entra Admin Center, start by opening your preferred web browser. Enter the URL https colon double slash entra dot microsoft dot com and press the enter key. This will direct us to the authentication page. Enter the user's username and password and then click sign in to access the Microsoft Entra Admin Center web interface. Let's use our global administrator account MW Admin. Above enter password, you can see the username of our global administrator account. Let's enter the password of this user account and click on sign in. Click on yes. We use the global administrator account to access the Microsoft Entra Admin Center web interface. Essentially, we have all the necessary permissions to carry out any actions within the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. After successfully logging into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center, we will be directed to the home page. The dashboard enables us to efficiently create, configure, monitor, and manage our Microsoft Entra resources. The Microsoft Entra products and features can be accessed using the search bar, left-hand navigation, or a pop-up menu that includes links to documentation by selecting View All Products link. For example, I want to access License page. For that, you have to type License in search bar. Under Services, click on Licenses. This will take us to License Management page. This is how you can use search bar to find and access any Microsoft Entra products or features page. Click on Home to go back to Home page. On Home page, click on View All Products link. This will open a pop-up menu that includes links to Microsoft Entra products and its documentation. For example, if you want to see the documentation of Microsoft Entra ID, you have to click on View Documentation link. This will open a new tab with Microsoft Entra ID documentation. Remember, we are using this Microsoft Entra ID documentation as a reference for this video series. So most of videos are coming from this Microsoft Entra ID documentation. If you want to learn about fundamentals and theory of Microsoft Entra ID, you can refer this documentation web page. Let me close this. Let's close the pop-up menu as well. Scroll down. There is also a quick navigation menu. Click on All Users to jump to All Users page. From this page, we can get the list of all users from our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. Let's go back to our home page. This is how you can expand and collapse any section in Microsoft Entra ID. Now let's understand the basics of each and every menu. The Identity menu provides administrators and developers with access to Microsoft Entra ID solutions such as tenants, users, groups, devices, applications, rules and licensing. For instance, if you want to create and manage Microsoft Entra ID user accounts, you have to expand Identity menu, expand Users, and then click on All Users. As we have seen earlier that this page will display all the users from our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. For managing Microsoft Entra ID, you will need to spend more time in this section. In certain menus, some options are not visible directly. For example, under Identity menu, we can see we have option named Show More. By default, these options are visible under Identity menu. If you want to see more, then you have to click on Show More to get the information about other options which are available under Identity menu. Now we can see we have several other options, Hybrid Management, External Identities, Monitoring and Health. 
You can also click on show less to hide those options from the view. After identity, we have protection menu. The protection menu gives access to Microsoft Entra ID protection solutions, including the protection dashboard, conditional access, multi-factor authentication, and password reset. Again, we can click on show more to see the more options from the protection menu. Let me click on show less. Now expand identity governance. The identity governance menu gives access to Microsoft Entra ID governance solutions, including entitlement management, access reviews, and lifecycle workflows. Expand verified ID. The verified ID menu gives access to Microsoft Entra verified ID solutions, including credentials and organization settings. Then next, we have permission management. If you click on Permission Management menu, this will open another dashboard for us. The Permission Management menu gives access to Microsoft Entra Permissions Management solution, including user identities, actions, and resources across multi-cloud infrastructure environments. Remember, all the features are not included in Microsoft Entra ID Free subscription. If you want to use these products, you have to purchase the additional license or you can try it for few days. If you want to try these products before purchasing, you have the option to try for free. As you can see, the Permission Management Free Trial account is available for 45 days. Under Global Secure Access, we can see it is still in preview. Let's expand it and let's see what kind of options we have here. Click on Dashboard. The Global Secure Access Dashboard provides you with visualization of the network traffic acquired by the Microsoft Entra Private and Microsoft Entra Internet Access services. The dashboard compiles the data from your network configuration, including devices, users, and tenants into several widgets. As I told you earlier that this is the advanced feature which is not included in Microsoft Entra ID Free subscription. If you want to use this feature, you need Microsoft Entra ID P1 or P2 license. And this information is being displayed here. At the top, we have the option for Diagnostic and Solve Problems. Let's click on Diagnose and Solve Problems. The Diagnose and Solve Problems menu provides troubleshooting resources to fix common problems and the option to contact Microsoft support team by opening new support request. Let me go to home and let's refresh the web page. There is one more option, which is what's new. Let's click on what's new. The what's new menu item provides information about the latest updates to the Microsoft Entra product. This information categorizes into highlights, roadmap and change announcement. Highlight section summarize important product launches and impactful changes. Roadmap section lists the public previews and recent general availability release. And last, Change Announcement section describes the modification to existing features of Microsoft Entra ID. There are many menus and sections available in Microsoft Entra Admin Center that we will explore together throughout this video series. First, we will dive into the Identity section and then we will proceed to the next one. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the steps, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.